was an ex external point of reference. So this is like weird stuff. But this is the new foundation. This is, we've kind of gone as far as we can with the information age, because we're getting, we're getting blown up. There's just too much information. We're drinking from a fire hose, because we, we used to think that information was really important. It, it is, but it's not the game changer. We got AI, we have virtual reality. It's gonna look after that stuff for us. Our job is to be creative. That's, that's where we're going next. That's a whole discussion. But so, so the point is, is if that's where we're going next, we gotta figure out what's our sweet spot? What are we good at? And if we don't have any basis in understanding that everything we experience is 100% subjective, then we're out of here. And especially if you're in a business context because we're taught to actually be, uh, try to be others focus. Especially if you're in sales. Like I love the, I mean, anyone else, like everyone's kind of in sales, right? <laughs> But you, you were very specific in that, and that just gets me excited because the, 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 the conundrum in sales is you gotta actually go and sell to somebody out there, when in fact, the only frame of reference you got is you, entirely. How am I reading that person? It's still you reading him. What did they say? What did that mean? It's still you interpreting it. They did this, they did that. They didn't call me on time, it's five minutes late. Is that good or is that bad? I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. So this is the roommate we got going on in our head that's the, let's say it's the psyche, the ego, whatever, it's just banging on, banging on, banging on, banging on, banging on, all the time. Is that helpful? And can, can we just take maybe a couple asks of what does that mean for you? Like yeah, knowing this, sure. Like what is automatically coming up for you in terms of what does this mean for your reality moving forward? Like anybody have a point they wanna make about that? Anyone? Please don't ask me. <laughs> I hear that loud. Yeah, that's like. So that's <laughs> okay. So we, so we've got we've got a few things we had. So used to avoid the swamp, and now actually learning uh, to actually lean into the swamp. Trust breakdown. Get the notion of the performance box, and I'm and I'm adding everything is 100 subjective. You are 100 self-absorbed. If someone tells you you are such a selfish bastard, the proper response is thank you. <laughs> this is true. Because if, you, if you're not first self, like if you're not actually trusting yourself, you're not gonna actually be able to go and help anybody else much. But you're gonna be banging around trying to figure out, like you can go, oh, if I do this, I feel crappy about myself, I have what they wanted, it, I'll do it. So we're overextending ourselves all the time, and where does that leave us? In a swamp. So what that means, and tying this back to last week, is we have to first start with trusting ourselves. That's it. Yeah. How much do we trust ourselves is our capacity for so let me let me take let me, let me hand these out. Yeah, I'm gonna hand these out two at a time. Can you can do side. those. I'll hand them out. You can do those. I'll do this. So what's your capacity for success? Is front and center what we're talking about? Today I am going to. So we have a recap on the first page. Let me actually just go toggle through it. This is a faster way. Yeah, it's two each. So that's good. Now share with the people beside you. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Everybody has two pages together. So this is page one. And we'll get you each your own copy. Yeah, this is a miss, this is called Miss In my head, I was very clear on what Sarah was about to do. Sarah's head, she hadn't heard anything and has not seen a photograph. So I could go, what a boom Sarah is, and start down this path of... And I could go, oh my God, I just screwed up that whole Yeah, and did you see the tension that just got in the room? And then the other thing that I'll actually say, those, these are real life situations. If in fact I've got some challenges with Sarah because she's actually handing me things out incorrectly and it's pissing me off, mm -hmm. you're going to feel it. Bye. Yeah, you're going to feel that we're actually having a challenge. But you're not gonna think it's us, you're gonna think it's you. This happens all the time when you go and talk to people and you actually go to presentations. They're really cranked, they're really quite anxious up front. You go into the room, you can feel that, but you're not really, you don't think it's them, you think it's you. 
And, and that kind of stuff is contagious. So you have the whole room all fired up. And it's just the person at the front. That's it. So we wear each other's emotions. I called up, we, that was another thing we talked about. I actually Energy worth age. Them. Oops. Owning other people's shit. Yeah. That, was, that was a big thing over here. Yeah. I'd forgotten that one. Oops. Owning other people's. Can we say shit in here? Should it be stuff? We can say shit, right? Shit, we're good? Yeah. Okay. All right, so in, in uh, history, everyone has two copies of such, right? You got the, the first one over here. So how we got here, and, and this is really what I was trying to do is capture this because we're gonna use these kinds of things moving forward. So trust is a must. <coughs> so everything starts and ends with trust. We got the, 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 the acronym, or uh, the credible, reliable, vulnerable, others focus. <coughs> trust is an inner experience. There's only four things we experience, sensations, images, feelings, thoughts, that's it. And that experience is 100% neutral. It just is. But then we overlay all our crap on top of what we're sensing, what we're seeing, what we're feeling, and what we're thinking. And then we make it, usually, a muddled up mess. But experience is just neutral. So when you actually start to understand that, you can start to actually experience trust and trusting your experience and when you start to get in your body more, as, as what we're doing with meditation and mindfulness and that type of thing these days, it allows you to get a better handle on what's actually really happening. Very specific to what I just said. If you're feeling a bunch of anxiety in the room, is it you? We're in the